And in response to that, I will yeah. bless the Lord. Yeah. Good morning to all of us who join us virtually this morning. I bring you greetings from Straightway Christian Church in Burleson, Texas. And to the ones of us who are able to gather here physically this morning, good morning to you as well. God bless you. Today we'll be taking a look, a short look, at the second book of Corinthians, chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. Again, that's 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. Amen. And the word of God reads as such, we are troubled on every side. Mm. Yet, not distressed. Yeah. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Yeah. And if you will, allow me to if I had to choose a topic, it'd be down, but not out. Amen. Let me say that again. Get that in your spirit. Down, but not out. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 tells us to everything, there is a season. So it stands to reason that in this life, sometimes we're up and sometimes we're down. Yeah. Yeah. For some of us, more often than not, it's the latter of the two. Mm. Come on. Maybe I'm speaking of myself. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know, up, bills are paid, fridge is full, overflowing. You can't shut the door good. The seal going close. You gotta make sure you push up against it extra time when you shut it. Come on, yeah. up. Oh, yeah. right. Got a full time job with benefits. Yeah. Up. Yeah. I dare say these days, up is when you got plenty of toilet paper. I could go on and on for hours and hours, citing examples of being up as well as being down. Yeah. But for the sake of time, just go with me in your imagination and picture this. Up, and y'all got to forgive me, this is my daddy's fault. God deals with me in a lot of things on what I grew up in my childhood. and. Uh, Unlike these folks today, you got four or five TVs in your house. You got to watch TV on your phone. We had one TV. Come on. And we had to watch what daddy wanted to watch. Yeah. And daddy liked them old spaghetti westerns. Yeah. So our picture for the day. Wow. Come on. Is picture yourself good up being you being in an old western. And you're on a, the highest cliff, and you can see from miles in front of you and miles behind you. Uh -huh. You can see all the way around you. You can see from miles down. Of in, so if anybody trying to attack you coming up the hill, yeah. you can see them coming. You can see everything. Right. And not only that, that you have plenty of ammunition. Uh -huh. Plenty of supplies and plenty of manpower to take care of any issue, oh. any threat yeah. Yeah. that comes your way. Yeah. That's up. And in direct contradiction of that, down is being in the valley. Oh. So far down in the valley that you can't even tell 
where the bullets are coming from, which direction they're coming from, whether they're coming up, coming down. Sometimes you get so crazy, it feels like they're coming sideways. You can't tell. So it's so much so that you feel as though you're a pin, corner, in that position. Yeah. Yeah. Down. Pin down. That every time you try to make a move, yeah. every time you try to take a step, yeah. a bullet flies by. Come on. You know, a bullet. Ring it through. Pew! Mm, yeah. There goes a bullet. Yeah. <laughs> Car won't start. Pew! Come on. There goes a the bullet. Yep. Bank is overdrawn. Mm. Pew, pew! <laughs> there goes two bullets. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The world will have you believe that you have every reason to be despondent yeah. 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 when you're down. Yeah. To be angry when you're down. Yeah. Even to be selfish and self-centered mm -hmm. when you're down. Yeah. I mean, you have every reason, right? Yeah. You're down. Yeah. You ain't got much to offer anyway. Oh, come on. So why not be self-centered? Yeah. And selfish. Look out for yourself, as mm. the world will say. Yeah. Take care of numero uno, mm -hmm. as the world will say. Right? Right. Well, God says wrong. Mm. God says he wants you to do the exact opposite. He wants you to shine bright right. like a diamond, as Rihanna would say. Yeah. <laughs> Even though your circumstances say you should be dull and lifeless as a stone, a muddy stone buried deep beneath your troubles. Yeah. And I dare say that God wants to display his awesome, awesome love and power right. through your situation. Right. Those are <clears throat> to show those around you Say and unsay mm -hmm. what is just exactly what he is capable of doing. Yeah. Yeah. If we allow him to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> because we sometimes, oftentimes we as we go through, uh, we like to fake it. Mm -hmm. That we, we we we're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we could be real. We could be real. Yeah. We could be real. We could be real. Even you at home virtually, you can show no real because ain't nobody in there but you. Right. Come on. You ain't gonna be real to nobody, but be, be real with yourself this yeah. morning. That's when you're gonna get your breakthrough. Is when you be real with yourself and yeah. most of all, be real with God. Yeah. So we like to think, you know, they come and ask you. They already know that you're going through. Hmm. God has a way of getting in your business and then sometimes telling your business. Right. And it's not to shame you, right. but it's for his glory. Right. 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 When you're trying to hide and shake and drive, shuck and drive, drive he's didn't stay letting everybody know. You think you got to hit so well uh -huh. that you're hiding behind the smile on your face. Yeah. As fake as a $3 bill yeah. that you really are going through. Right. Right. And oftentimes it's, it's to get you some help. 
Yeah. To reinforce because he knows just how stubborn and bullheaded you are, you ain't gonna ask for none. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But oftentimes it's to, uh, and, and I should say this, that, that God is a, a, a multifaceted God. He works on different levels and different planes all at the same time. Yeah, yeah. While he's working on you, he's bringing in this person and this yeah, person yeah. And, and showing this and doing that. That's the power, the power of the God that we serve. Yeah. So you, you, you fake it. You, you, you smile. They ask you how you're doing. You smile, put a smile on your face. You say, oh, I'm blessed. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you're feeling half, halfway decent that day, you say, you're going to say, I am highly faithful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the point where you smile and laugh around everybody mm-hmm. but you're balled up in the fetal position crying when you're all alone mm-hmm. yeah. our scripture is not talking about that mm-hmm. it's not talking about denying it, 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 the, the, the words yeah. Explicitly expresses that and acknowledges that we are trouble. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. It, yes, it did. It said we are trouble. We are. We are down right now. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yet. Yeah. Without distress. Right. Uh, we got some questions for God. Yeah. Amen. We're perplexed. Amen. Yes. Amen. But not in despair. Yeah. We feel like God has forgotten us. The, the Bible puts it forsaken us. Yeah. But yet we know we're not cast mm-hmm. yeah. down mm-hmm. and not destroyed. So we see that the, that this 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 thing that we do with others and not being real, so you can be real. And yet, be real about how good God is at the same time. Uh-huh. The word just just, yeah. just told us that. Right. Yeah, right. You ain't got to. Lord have mercy. Yeah, come on. You ain't got. You know how they say it on Friday. You ain't got to lie, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, hit somebody. Hit somebody up. They'll let them remind you what I'm talking about. You ain't got to lie. Faking and shaking. Mm. You see, because the, it's when we're real, God can really use us. Right, yeah. right. Remember, he, he, he said he wants us to shine bright, not only shine bright like a diamond, but because you are mm-hmm. God's diamond. Yeah. yeah. Not to be like, but to be a diamond. Yeah. Yeah. You see, light means that you are a facsimile of yeah. that which is real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the facsimile of a real diamond is a CZ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God didn't create no CZs. Wow. Yeah. That's cubic zirconium. Yeah. God created through his infinite power diamonds. Yeah. yeah. And although man has done well to imitate, it can't duplicate God's work. Keep that in your spirit today. Yes, sir. You see, if you're not careful, we tend to, because that's another thing about the CZ, it's a lot cheaper to get than the real diamond. You can get a bigger CZ <laughs> for the same money or less money mm-hmm. than you can get a chip mm-hmm. of a diamond. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the diamond is real. Mm-hmm. Although they both do shine and reflect light, that diamond. And both are, 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 are made under pressure. That diamond will withstand a whole lot more pressure yeah. than that CZ yeah. when you put them up head to head yeah. under the same conditions. Right. That CZ will, will crack and you'll be upset. Right. Because you spent all this money, although it was cheaper, if you would have 
got, took your time and gone and saved up and gone through what you needed to go through to get the real thing, yeah. you would still have it. Mm -hmm. Quit taking shortcuts this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Go through what you got to go through this yeah. morning. Yeah. Quit trying to sidestep what you've been ordained to go through this morning. Yeah. Before, because and, and, and what you've got to realize our downtime is God's good time. Yeah, yeah. That's when He does His best work yeah. Yeah. in us and for us, yeah. through us, yeah. for everybody else, yeah. as well as us. Yeah. Yeah. So be still. Yeah. And no. And no. Yeah. Yeah. He is good. Yeah. Now that we realize that there's no way of denying or faking it till we make it. It's going to get us through this thing. That we have to be like that diamond. We got to shine under pressure. Mm -hmm. You know, because the, 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 the CZ, if you will, I don't know why I'm doing sound effects this one, but y'all just go, y'all be with me. The CZ, if you will, when it shines, it shines and it's, I'm fake. Mm. I'm not real. Right. Don't put too much on me. Mm. I can't stand the pressure. Yeah. Right. Come on. But in direct contrast, mm -hmm. that old diamond that God has built, yeah. that old diamond has been through the pressure, uh -huh. been through the storm and the rain. Yeah. Yeah. When it shines, listen to what it says. Yeah. Trouble rises up. Mm. It shines and says, bling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Trouble. Yeah. On every side. Yeah. 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 Bling. Yet not distressed. Yeah. When it shines, it says, bling. Perplexed. Uh. Bling. But not in despair. Yeah. Come oh. on. When it shines, it says, bling. Yeah. Cast down. Yeah. And bling, yeah. but not destroy. Yeah. You got to shine this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Through the Apostle Paul in our text, God reminds us that we are not down. We, we are down. We may be down, but we are definitely by any means out. Yeah. God is telling us that we may feel like we're pinned down with Pharaoh's army behind us, charging hard, and the Red Sea in front of us. And the spray is so real to us that the spray of the ocean is in our face. So it's real. You feel yeah. it. Mm -hmm. That ocean is right there. Right. And you can hear the, ho the hoop steps of Pharaoh's horses behind you. Yeah. And there's no, it seems that there's no way out. But I'm here to tell you, there is a way out. Yeah. And his name is Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. God gives us so many examples of people being down and out. Job literally lost everything. Yeah. Yet he says, though he slay me, yeah. yet will I trust him. Yeah. God not only restores what he lost, he gave him extra. Yeah. And a lot of preachers like to say, double for his trouble. Yeah. Joseph, betrayed by his own family. Yeah. Everybody right. been betrayed. You feel like yeah. you've been betrayed by your own family. Yeah. Out there, you're down. You, know, you want to get somebody, get betrayed by somebody that's that, that, that close to you. Yeah. Betrayed by his own family, sold into slavery, wrongly accused, yeah. rises to second in power to nobody but Pharaoh yeah. in all of Egypt. And then, look at here, rescues the same family. Yes, come on. Yeah, come on. That betrayed him. Yeah. Let me put a pen right there. Yeah. It's how you act mm. when you're down. Yes. Mm. Yes. Everything that Joseph went through, because I could, I could, could go on about all the, just go back and read it. That, that all the things Joseph went through, lied on, forgotten about. I do them a favor, they do them a solid, and they forget about me for years. I'm locked up. But still, he, he wasn't bitter. When he got out, he was full of joy and ready to move forward and God could use him, and he did. And like I said, Rose the second in power. It's about how you behave and what you learn yeah. while you're down. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you're down, that's, like I said, that's God's good time. Not only to bless you, but to teach you, to teach us. Yeah. 
And to be, and so because I said, you're multifaceted God. He's teaching, he's preaching, he's he's showing you off on display as you go through and you grow and, and showing the disability because you're going to be a blessing to somebody else that's going through this a little bit further, not as far along as you are. Yeah, right. So we remember to learn while you're down. Yeah. yeah. If you didn't learn nothing, if just, just for a minute, just if, where you're at, just think back. Not about where you are today, oh. but when you was down. Remember when yeah. you were down Come and on. you was calling on the Lord Jesus because nobody, nothing was working right. Yeah. You couldn't get it work right. You couldn't get the job. You, no matter how hard you tried, no matter who you got to send uh, a, a, a letter of recommendation to, yeah. no matter who you knew inside or how up they were inside the company, right. you couldn't get on. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And how he blessed you with what you have today? Yes. You learned something. Yeah. Because you're able to back, go back and reflect and remember and see what the Lord has done for you. Yes. Another example is the widow and her son in 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 13. During a drought, down to her last bit of flour and oil. Mm -hmm. When asked, she obeyed God. She blessed him, the man of God. And God returned her obedience yeah. by supplying her with endless supply yeah. of flour and oil. Yeah. Yes. When you're down, you better listen to what God's telling you. I don't care how crazy it is right. or how illogical it may seem to everybody else around you. You're going to do what? Mm. You got a little bit and I mean, I get you. We said we don't need to be selfish. We need to share. But Bishop, I, you, you preached was it last week about giving up your last, the best part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're down to enough to make two cakes, mm. it may not be the last. I want all of it. Mm. But she didn't do that. She gave. Not only did she share, she gave him the first fruits, oh. the first thing. The best yeah, yeah. that she had. Uh, because all the left what was left over, because all of it was probably already sipped over anyway. So with all the scraps that she was dealing with, that her down to her last. But this was the first of the last. Uh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Hear me now. Get that in the spirit this morning. Yeah. She gave her best. And because she gave her best, God gave his best. And he blessed her to where she would not run out in the middle of a drop, would not run out of flour and oil. down but not out right. your situation may be so bad to everyone around you that they consider you dead yeah. he ain't coming back from this right. Don't no person come back from being dead yeah. but Jesus right. and he ain't got no J no word in his name right. nor hell like Lazarus yeah so much so they think you're dead and that your situation is so grim that even when Jesus shows up on the scene, they see Jesus work starting to work. He's there. The ones that can spiritually see that. Even they saying, surely he's he's been dead so long, his situation so bad, surely he's thinking. Mm, yeah. Surely that situation that you're in that is so deep and so bad, yeah. surely you are. You yeah. won't, you're going to have some smell on you when you come up out of there. Yeah. Surely. But just like Lazarus, Jesus will say to you, come out, mm. remove the stone, yeah. and you may come out hobbling. That's another thing. Is that when you do come out, you may not be able to come out. It, it'd be so, so. I always thought in this part, it'd be good if he just ran out. <laughs> yeah. But he came out hopping. Mm -hmm. yes. Because he was still bound. Mm -hmm. He was still bound and tied up and said, Jesus said, loosen and let him go. Yeah. It's a process. Do you hear what he's saying? Yeah. It's a process. Quit trying to hurry up, the, quit trying to hurry up and get around right. that process yeah. that God's going to take right. you through. Right. Um, yeah. Even Jesus, I'm almost done, in his godly majesty, shows us that he loved us so much, so much. That he was willing to be down. Mm. Oh, you don't believe me? Uh -huh. Let's take a look. One, he stepped down mm. off his throne in heaven. Yeah. 
Yeah. To save us. Yeah. Two. He walked down mm. the dusty streets of, of Jerusalem yeah, preaching yeah. and teaching the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah. He knelt down to pray that this cup be removed from him. Yeah. But he said, nevertheless, uh, not my will, right. but thy will yeah. be done. Yeah. He was questioned and falsely accused, number four, by the Sanhedrin council and was not allowed to lie down throughout the night. Mm. Down, but not out. Mm. Yeah. He was beat down. Mm. Yeah. And a crown of thorns was pushed down yeah. into his head. Yeah. Down, but not out. Yeah. Being exhausted from being beaten and whipped and carrying his cross, yeah. Jesus fell down. Yeah. Yeah. On the way to the cross, right. on the way to uh, Calvary's hill. Yeah. But God, mm. in his ultimate wisdom, has yeah. signed Cyrene there yeah. to help Jesus finish the work that he had begun. Yeah. Pin right there. I'm sorry. God's gonna put people in your life. You can't you gotta get past. Okay, Come on. some people tell way too much of their business. Yeah, right. Now I don't want to know all that. Right. Mm -hmm. But there's a time God will be in you. If you if you're in touch with God, He'll let you know who you need to be talking to. Yeah, yeah. If you listen, yes. He'll put somebody in your path, a Simon, yes. when you're at your lowest and you do fall down. Mm -hmm. that, Simon didn't get on the cross for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Right. That was Jesus' cross to yeah. get on. Yeah. yeah. But he, when he is at his lowest, he couldn't get there. Yeah. To finish it. God had a way of putting Simon right where he needed. God has a way today. Let me tell you that you're going to have to go through what you're going to have to go through. Right. That's our day for you and you alone. Right. Yeah. But when you get to the point where you can't bear anymore, mm. there will be a Simon and a Cyrene yeah. to help you through yeah, right. to finish your journey. Right. Right. They ain't going to get up on that cross for you. Yeah. But they'll help you get there. Yeah. yeah. Check back in. Seven. When his redemptive work on the cross was done, he said, it is finished. Yeah. And his head went down yeah. in the locks of his shoulders. Yeah. Number eight, when the soldiers ordered him to, or were ordered to make sure that he was dead, they poked him in his side and blood and water came streaming down uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. to cleanse me of my sins. Yeah. Yeah. And number nine, he, he rose up on the cloud and sat down mm, yeah. by yeah. the right hand of the Father. Yeah. Yeah. Down, yeah. but not out. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's good. And certainly last but not least, he's coming back down. Yeah. 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 And his reward is with you. Remember the day that you are down, mm. but not out. Yeah. May God bless you this morning. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for speaking to our spirits this morning, Father, for coming in communion with us here in these walls of this mortar and brick building and, in, and also in the vastness of the virtual web, Father. Thank you for being with us all at the same time sitting and supping with us and breaking bread with us this morning, Father. Father, we pray right now that this word helps us in our downtime, Father. Helps us to be to sit still on a potter's wheel as you shape and mold us into what you would have us to be, Father. Although as you push in on the sides and pull away pieces of clay, Father, it hurts, Father. It's not comfortable, Father. Help us to stay on the, your potter's wheel, Father. Help us to stay in your hands, Father, for there's no other place that is safer than in your hands. Father, we just thank you for what you're going to do in our lives, Father. In the midst of our, the, the biggest trouble that we could ever be in, in the midst of our lowest of lows and our downs of downiness of downs, Father, that you are 
ever so present in our lives, Father. And that you will give us everything that we stand in need of, Father. Father, we, we dare say that we we, 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 we say we, we, we were a little timid and maybe a little bit scared to say that, Father, use us, Father, because we, we feel like we get dogpiled upon with trouble after trouble and we can't, right when we come up to catch our breath, here comes another piece of trouble, Father, but Father, the more present trouble is, the more present trouble is in our lives, Father, we've begun to realize the ever more present you are, Father. Yeah. Have your way in us and through us this morning, Father us in the hollow of your hand, Father. We just thank you for all that you're doing, all that you've done, and we dare say we don't know how, we don't know when, but we know you're able. I need to say it again. Get that in your spirit. We don't know how, Lord. We don't know when, but we know you're able. Have your way in us, Father. It's in Jesus' name we pray and we call it done. Amen. Thank you for worshiping with us this morning at the Straight Lake Christian Church. Join us again next Sunday at 10 a.m. on Facebook Live. Or subscribe to our YouTube channel where our weekly sermons are posted so you don't miss out on the message that God wants to bring through this church. You have an opportunity to be a blessing to this ministry by visiting our website at straightwaychurch.org to make a donation. Click Give. You can also give using the Tithely app on your phone. That's T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y. We do offer curbside pickup for our members who would like to give on Sunday afternoons from 12 to 2 p.m. Your gift helps us continue to serve this community and God's kingdom and is greatly appreciated. Thank you again for tuning in to today's broadcast and for being part of our family.